Democrats want no proof of citizenship to vote. It's July 9th, 2024, and these are your headlines. As a measure requiring proof of citizenship to vote in federal elections is set to make its way through the House, Democrats are being prompted to vote no on the new legislation. House Minority Whip Catherine Clark is urging Democrats to vote against H.R. 8281, also known as the SAVE Act, that's Safeguarding American Voter Eligibility, which would require applicants to present documentary proof of U.S. citizenship when registering to vote in federal elections. Clark criticized House Republicans for irresponsibly questioning election results. She also stated that despite deep dive investigations by conservatives, She said there's been no evidence of election fraud that the act aims to combat. Now, the SAVE Act was introduced by Representative Chip Roy from right here in Texas in early May, and discussions have been picking up steam as it's set to make the rounds later this week. And according to Speaker Mike Johnson, the measure requires state election officials to inquire about citizenship before administering voter registration forms, requires an individual to show proof of U.S. citizenship to register to vote in federal elections, and it empowers state officials to accept a wide variety of different documents that will make it easier for citizens to register. The legislation also provides state access to federal agency databases so they can discard non-citizens from voter rolls and confirm citizenship for those lacking proof of citizenship. This is a major part of voter integrity legislation. Now, The Department of Homeland Security will also be directed to determine whether to conduct removal proceedings if someone who is a non-citizen has been identified as having registered to vote in federal elections. Some University of Texas at Austin students arrested during a pro-Palestine riot in April will receive academic probation or suspension from the school. It's according to emails obtained by KUT News. It shows UT Austin accused at least four students of failing to comply with directives and disrupting teaching and learning during the demonstrations. They said, recognizing our commitment to educational growth, we want to offer you an alternative path to avoid suspension by proving that you have learned from the experience. That's what one of the letters said. It's unclear how many emails were sent out. UT Austin did not respond to Texas Scorecard about the matter. Of the four, three will receive a form of probation known as deferred suspension. That allows them to remain students as long as they don't violate any additional university rules. Students on deferred suspension must also take an exam testing their knowledge of the university rules and agree not to appeal the decision. Meanwhile, a fourth student accused of damaging property will be suspended from all UT Austin campus premises for two years, after which he can reapply to the university. Hey there, it's Chris Salcedo. Join me weekdays at 9 o'clock in the morning on the Salcedo Storm podcast. The Salcedo Storm is your go-to source for all things national, state, and cultural news, plus some insightful interviews to keep you in the know. The Save Austin Now Pack has launched a radio ad calling the Third Court of Appeals to issue a ruling on homeless encampments. The verdict has been delayed for more than 340 days. It goes back to in May of 2021, voters in Austin passed Prop B that effectively banned homeless encampments and ended a camping camping ordinance from former Austin Mayor Steve Adler. Homeless people were allowed to set up shop basically wherever they wanted to in Austin, even right on your front porch. Well, the radio ad, which will run on KLBJ, says that Save Austin now sued the city in January of 2023 for not enforcing the voter-approved ban and accuses the city of, quote, using procedural hurdles to stall the lawsuit. The PAC says that the Third Court of Appeals not even doing its job, even after receiving a motion to expedite decision on March 27th of 2024. That was 106 days ago and still refuses to issue a ruling. In June, the U.S. Supreme Court upheld the rights of cities to enforce the ban on homeless camping. Writing the decision, Justin Neil Gorsuch referred to homelessness as a crisis He stated that the causes are varied and complex. The appropriate public policy response is perhaps no less so. The Save Austin Now PAC's ad is scheduled to run for less than two weeks with the potential to continue. For more of today's stories, go to texasscorecard.com.